LinkedIn's first quarter profits came in higher than expected. The company also raised guidance for the full fiscal year. Normally, that's what we like to see, Rod. Yeah. <laughs> there really wasn't a big reaction with the stock, though. They revised the guidance upwards less than people thought they would, based on the strength of this quarter, which indicates perhaps some slowing growth later on in the year. But they did put up a good quarter, so you got to give it to them. 35% sales growth and a 39% growth in EBITDA. Now, the, the stock has been decimated. It's down 50% over um, the last year or so, so they needed to put up some, some, some exciting numbers. They stand uh, 433 million members at, at last count. That's good. Their biggest business unit, the Talent Solutions Division, was up 41%. So, they did put up a nice quarter, and they should be applauded for it. When you look at the stock, uh, we're around 40 times 2016 guidance, and that's if you don't count stock compensation expense as an expense, which I think you should. Um, once you factor that in, then you know valuation really goes out the door, and there's really even no, no way to think about it unless you just believe in the future and believe that they'll continue to put up strong growth. So, this was a quarterly report that they, they need to repeat in three months and then three months after that. Yes, but based on that um, guidance going forward, I think um, you know they signaled to the market that it's not going to be as strong as this quarter.